Hi guys, welcome to the Tech Buzz. King Buzz here. Today I am going to show you how to share data between smartphone and Windows PC. For that you need a Windows PC, smartphone and active Wi-Fi network. First connect your smartphone and Windows PC to the same Wi-Fi network. See here I already connected my PC to the Wi-Fi network. Now connect your smartphone to the same Wi-Fi network. Go to the settings. Click on Wi-Fi. See now I am connected to the same Wi-Fi network. For sharing data between smartphone and Windows PC, the software I am going to use is SuperBeam. First install SuperBeam software in your Windows PC. You can search for SuperBeam in Google. Let's search. Here it is. Here is the website from which you can download SuperBeam for your PC. You can see SuperBeam is available for Windows platform, Mac OS platform. It is also available for Linux platform. Now download it for Windows. I have downloaded. Here is the pricing tag of SuperBeam application for Android. You can see SuperBeam app is available in the form of free version and pro version. In pro version, it comes with some premium features. Okay, after downloading SuperBeam, open it. You can see options are available at the bottom. Here is the send button, receive button and you can also manage your settings as you want. Here is the SuperBeam version 1.2.0 and it is the website address of SuperBeam software. By clicking on it, you will directly reach at the website. Ok, close it. After installing SuperBeam in your PC, now install SuperBeam in your smartphone. Ok, now go to the Play Store and search for SuperBeam. You can see I already downloaded SuperBeam Pro version because it comes with some premium features. Now open it. You can buy pro version of SuperBeam application from Google Play Store for your Android devices. After downloading open SuperBeam. See now you can send files and folders, audio and music, photos, videos via SuperBeam. Or you can also receive files with NFC by scanning QR code or by putting this sharing key. Ok, now for sending files tap here and select the files or folders which you want to send. See for sending I selected this file. Now tap on this icon for sending file. You can see one QR code is generated and at the bottom one sharing key is generated. You can send this file either by scanning this code or by putting this key in your PC. We want to receive this file in PC. 
so click on receive button and write this key in your pc after writing this key in your pc you can see file is sending you can see the progress of sending file just click on progress tab see the file is sending with very good speed there is one more way from which you can send this file by using the superbeam application go to the superbeam application in your device and click on other devices you can see at the bottom there is one link it is the link from which you can receive this file in your pc you can write this link in your browser let's see you can type this link in the browser of your pc let's type it after typing this link you can see the file is available which you want to send or which you was selected earlier just click on it you will get the notification of downloading let's start downloading see it's downloading with very good speed now by using the superbeam application let's see how to send files from your pc to smartphone first open superbeam in your pc okay now for sending click on send button now select one file which you want to send and drop it here see one qr code is generated and at the bottom one share key is generated by putting it you can receive this files at your smartphone now tap on enter share key and type this key in your smartphone now click okay here you can set the location of your received files now you can see file is receiving in your smartphone with higher speed finally files are received successfully the big advantage of using this superbeam application is you can share your data with anyone at anywhere guys try this superbeam application for sending and receiving files between your pc and smartphone i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching if you like my video then don't forget to hit like button below and don't forget to subscribe